Good morning, Print Fam, and happy Thursday. Today, it's my son's birthday. Yeah, it is Thursday. It's my son's birthday. He turns seven today. I cannot believe it. It is just crazy how fast kids grow up. One day you're getting married, the next you're having kids, the next the kids are old. It's crazy. I can't believe it. I've been married 10 years. It's nuts. Anyway, today I wanted to specifically focus on the white toner printer. Because I won't be working very much, because it's my son's birthday, I want to spend some extra time with him. But I specifically wanted to focus on the white toner and tell you why I did not buy the iColor 550, which tends to be the most popular one and why I didn't buy the iColor 800. So let's get right into it. The iColor 600 is a great machine. I love it. I don't use all the bells and whistles and features and everything that it does. Um, but let's first cover the reasons why I bought the 600 over the 550. Well, let's do the 800 first. Why I didn't buy the 800. I didn't know it existed. <laughs> it was a new product that was coming out right around the time that I bought mine, and I just didn't know about it. I might have purchased that one just because it's a little bit faster, but I also didn't want to spend more money, and it's not terribly more expensive than the 600. Um, but that's the big reason. And really, the, the biggest differences that I'm aware of between the 600 and the 800 is the 800 will do bigger sheets. So it'll do, I think, up to 13 by 19, and it's faster. There's a few things that the 800 doesn't do that the 600 does, which um, is like true black, and I don't think it'll do the cartridge swapping. I think it's just meant to be apparel, but I could be wrong with that, so don't take me for it. If I am wrong, I will comment down below on it. Um, but, the main reason why I went with, okay, we'll, we'll show you the, the 600 here. The main reason why I went with the 600 is because I wanted to do bigger sheets. So I wanted to be able to do the 11 by 17 sheets because the majority of the projects that I do are small. I do a lot of hats, a lot of black chests, a lot of sleeves. It's very rare that I do a full big logo because that's not the type of business that I go after. I'm not a mom and pop, whoa. I am not a mom and pop shop that um, does just like a lot of one-off shirts. Um, for example, I have an order that I've got to get done today that is 70 pieces. They're two and a half inches big. <laughs> so they're super tiny. I think I will be able to fit all of them on two, maybe three sheets, four at the most. But I'll be charging them a dollar a fifty. A dollar a fifty? <laughs> There's something wrong with me today. I will be charging them a dollar fifty a piece for them. And because they're only two and a half inches, and because I'll be able to fit so many, the profit just great thing about this customer too I don't have to apply them I just make them for them I love those kind of customers so I wanted to be able to do a lot more it doesn't like advantage wise like the cost for the a B media is the same whether you do an eight and a half by 11 versus 11 by 17 just because you're getting half the media so it's half the price so there's not really an advantage there it's just the fact that it makes it simpler. It's a simpler process. It's faster to print. You don't have to print as many. You're doing more at a time. The marrying process is less because you're doing a full 11 by 17 rather than eight and a half by 11. So that's what it comes down to of why I did not buy the 550. The 550 is cool and it's, I think, half as much money. So it's a great little product. 
it's just not what I wanted. Um, the nice thing about the 550 though, if you are just wanting to get into it and you have a smaller budget, um, they have what they call, I think they call it smart cut or smart clip or something of that nature, where um, it's a feature that if you have a bigger design, it will clip it in ways like it'll smart do it, he'll do it smartly so that you can apply it in different pieces so that you can get the full coverage um, by using smaller sheets. So they do have workarounds and it's it has similar features where you can do the different toner cartridges, you can do sublimation cartridges. Um, but to me, they also have a sublimation printer and it's not much more to get their sublimation printer that's the same size as the 550 as buying the cartridges for the 550. So if it were me, I would just suggest buying both because then you can be more productive. You're not having to swap cartridges out. You're not having to store cartridges. So that's a great little option. Again, this is why I did not buy the 550 and why I bought the 600. But if you're a big production shop, I'd buy the 800. If you're just getting into it, I'd buy the 550. If you're somewhere like me, I really like the 600. But they're all great machines. They all pretty much do the same thing. And in my opinion, it's worth having one. If you're a promotional products person or a printer that does shirts, it's a great way to do kind of the one-offs without having to do it. And that that's coming from a guy who can do printed heat transfer. Um, I had someone comment the other day, they're like, you're the first person I've seen that has white toner and the ability to do printed heat transfer. And the reason why I like white toner over the printed heat transfer is the media for the printed heat transfer is crazy expensive. It doesn't work as well. Um, you can't do fine detail because you still have to weed it. Um, so I just, I don't like it as much. So White toner is a good combination. Let's do some printing on the white toner. Let's get those little decals, not decals, wool transfers going. So I've got two sheets loaded. I'm gonna need four total, but I've got the printer turned on and a lot of people have asked me how my supplies are going. And you can see here, I still have more than half of my supplies. My printer is just about a year old. And um, this box of transfers, which I probably have, I'd say half of it left, this box is my fourth box. So I personally have gone through almost 400 transfer sheets and I still have more than half. Now, like I said, my business is primarily small logos. So I'm very happy with the cost effectiveness and the price. There's a little thing on here. Don't know where it came from. Anyway, I'm very happy with the price, the supplies, I've never had to replace anything. I've never had to put more toner in, transfer belts, nothing. And I'm sure it's gonna last me another year, maybe two, before I have to do anything at the rate that I use it. I probably use the machine at least once a week. But again, what I'm doing is small run, small batch size, small artwork. And it works great for me. The machine has already paid for itself. Let's get these things printed. Theoretically, this is all I need. I was able to do 16 per sheet. Was it 16? I can't remember. Anyway, this should be all I need to do. As long as I don't mess any of them up, then I'm done. If I mess one up, then probably what I'll do is there's a slight color change. They have the text at the bottom different. So if I do mess up, then I'll do half of one, half of the other, 
so that I can do just one more sheet to get this job taken care of. Once we're all done, we'll go over how much money this job costs and how much profit was it. Okay, as you saw in the time lapse, we got the heat transfers done, or the white toner transfers. Got them in this envelope so I can get them delivered tomorrow. Um, I only ruined two, one of each color, so I didn't have to make any more. Got the 35 of each that I needed. Got the invoice created, got it sent off, but I promised you numbers. So, let me pull up that invoice. So in total, we sold them 70 transfers. We charged them a dollar 77 a piece. They are two inches wide and just about um, two inches tall. In total, we were able to fit 18 per sheet. We needed 35 of each. I ruined one. Luckily, that left us with 35 of each. So, again, it took four sheets. I charge myself $10 per sheet. That covers the A, the B, the toner, and the time, and to help pay for the heat press for everything. So, $10 a sheet, $40. I charge them $123.90. So, 123.90 minus 40 gives me a profit of $83.90. So, the way that I use the white toner system is beautiful. I love it. It helps me make fine detail, full color, good products and it's totally worth it. Because four sheets gave me a profit of basically $80. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I would like it if I was doing full color all the time, because there is a risk of ruining during the burying process. And granted, there's a risk of ruining it in DTG. There's a risk of ruining it in HTV, but I think there's a higher risk in doing it um, in white toner, but there's also a greater reward at times. So take this information with a grain of salt. I love it. I buy it again. It's great for my business. That's all we have for today. It's my son's birthday, so I'm going to spend a bunch of time with him. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Happy to answer them. Really appreciate it. I love learning from you guys and helping. Thank you, Cam, for writing in the video. Appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links down in the description. Patreon, Amazon affiliate, custom orders, all that fun stuff. But we do just appreciate you watching, subscribing, liking, sharing with friends, etc. As far as tomorrow, we'll probably have to do some HP Latex stuff. I've got a few more jobs that hopefully will get finalized. Some wedding announcements. The yawn count. <laughs> um, 
probably some organization because I'm trying to take Fridays off early. So we'll see. I know I've got a couple of wholesale large format stuff that hopefully will be approved. And I'm trying to get just the numbers dwindled down so I feel better about the work because I like having jobs, but I like them being done better. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in tomorrow's vlog, fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.